Hey, hello, greetings. My name is Livy Berg and I'm one of the lead mentors. I'm here to talk to you about some of the responsibilities you're gonna have during AIM. <laughs> ah! Moving in. So to start off the program, we're all going to be helping the freshmen move into their dorms. It's a very chaotic day with a bunch of people carrying stuff up to their new rooms and mothers arguing about what art should be on the wall even though they don't have to stare at it for the next year. <laughs> that just got too real. <laughs> So we are there to try and make that experience more fun and easy. Usually we'll get um, some carts and we'll take them to the cars, fill up the carts, and then bring them up to the room. Uh, you'll help find the room that they need to go to and then unload all the stuff. An important thing to note is that sometimes people just hoard the baskets even when they're not using them so you got to make sure to like steal them back. Also this is a time where they're going to be asking you questions about Marist and AIM. It's usually the parents because they like to try and get their kid all hyped up for college. This is the freshman's first taste of college and the parents last goodbyes before their young one goes off to school for the next four years of their life. It's really a great thing to be a part of and to help out in any way we can. Getting to know your group. So every mentor is going to be split up into teams of two. And with you and your partner, you're going to be overseeing a couple mentees. When you first get your group, there is a few things you guys should take note of. One, you know, get to know their names. That's pretty basic. <laughs> get their phone numbers or any kind of way of communication so that you can keep them updated throughout the whole AIM session. Make sure you ask them where their dorms are just in case they want to hide in their room during the duration. That's not exactly something we want. <laughs> Establish a home base for your group to meet up. Like at the beginning of the day, um, you're going to have to gather your group together before going to breakfast. Maybe say, let's meet in the rotunda every day or let's meet in the cab every day. This is just so that you guys can have a consistent meeting place and so that nobody gets lost. Icebreakers! So anytime you guys have free time, it's so, so, so important that you run some sort of icebreaker to keep the group talking and the, uh, get to know more about one another. This is how we get the mentees more comfortable with college and talking to new people. So if it's just your group, sit them down in a circle and run some icebreakers. If there's another group waiting by, include them in. Like, get more connections going on. Campus tour. One of my favorite parts of the whole AIM experience was touring the campus. Encourage everyone in your group to look up where your classes are going to be beforehand so that while you're walking around campus you can point out exactly what building they're in. Be sure to walk around inside the buildings too, like don't go up and down every single hallway, but at least just show them like, oh this is um, Little Tom, this is, oh that's Lowell Thomas. Also explain how to find their classrooms, like um, the first le number is what floor it's on and yeah. <laughs> also make sure to point out important places like uh, health services, the library, uh, the accommodations office, that's, a, that's an important one to know. And really just have fun with it, just talk about some of your favorite places to study in the buildings or your favorite classes and stuff like that. AIM is such an amazing program and it really becomes super fun all because of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and deciding to become a mentor. Hope this gave you some clue as to your responsibilities and I can't wait to see you guys this summer. Bye bye <laughs>